Hey, bro, you better get this together. That receipt in the airline. <laughs> Look, he's mad. Look at him. You sick. Here we go again. Hey, bro, you better get this together. That receipt in the airline. <laughs> Look, he's mad. Look at him. You sick. <laughs> With fans going after LeBron James. The fan laughed as James was held back by a member of security, though it would not, of course, be the first time. Because you see, wherever this man goes, Watch your mouth, woman. Hey! If I remember your Facebook, you better hold my He gets crapped on by hecklers from the Bay Area. It is what it is. She's like, I hear it, fam. What your hand like now? To Chicago, Illinois, with the go-to insult being his hairline. Come on, you're a You're a PR. I still see you Come on, you're a PR. NBA fans in Detroit heckle Jamal Murray in ways that could only be deemed utterly classless. The Twitter account Joker Season 15 would allege the fans would be removed. The your girlfriend is a whore chatter was low, and this fan calling Jamal Murray boy met the bar as well. The Detroit Police Department told TMZ Sports the fan who had the heated exchange with Murray violated the NBA fan code of conduct and was removed from Little Caesars Arena without incident, the outlet printed. The comeback would also report security intervened and escorted the fan out of the building without incident. There have been several cases over the years of NBA fans heckling players and being escorted out of the arena. On the boy remark, one Utah Jazz fan would heckle Russell Westbrook in March of 2019 with the same usage. And even with Westbrook saying it's disrespectful, the man would double down. The Legal Defense Fund would note it is widely recognized that the use of the term boy to describe an African-American man is deeply offensive and reflects discriminatory intent. One judge, for example, had said that when used to describe an adult African man, boy is akin to the N-word. The Legal Defense Fund's brief drew up historical instances of black men being called boy to insult and demean them. It also notes the term has been derogatorily used to refer to African-American men since the time of slavery. The video captures the Anaheim Angels' Anthony Rendon confronting a fan. When Rendon says, did you call me a B-word, the fan tucks his tail and says, no, no, of course not. They exchange words, then Rendon tells him in not-so-glowing terms to take a hike. Now, another angle has come about showing the events that led up to Rendon and the fan having a disagreement. Twitter user DMW1515151 puts an arrow over the man's head, which shows him smack-talking multiple Angels players going right up against the fence to do so. At about the 22nd mark, he says something to Rendon. And the big leaguer hears it and immediately turns around. Rendon signals him to come over. Another fan would sort of push the yeller to Rendon. And that's where what we saw in the initial video transpires. But this adds a lot of context, doesn't it? So here's the latest. First, Major League Baseball told ESPN they are investigating the matter which occurred in Oakland, California. We are aware of the video. We are now looking into the matter, the organization said. When reporters caught up with Rendon the next day, he said, I'm sorry, I can't comment, likely because of said investigation being conducted by the league office. Angels manager Phil Nevin commented briefly, this happens a lot, unfortunately. A lot of times we just don't see it. You're going to hear things all the time. You hear a lot. 
Right now, I just don't want to comment on the incident involving Anthony or anything that goes along with it. According to TMZ Sports, the Oakland Police Department is launching an investigation into the matter after seeing the video. Although we are still unaware who the victim is, an OPD spokesperson told the outlet, surveillance video of the incident has surfaced. As a result, OPD created an incident, made a report, and is actively investigating. Athletes just aren't afraid anymore. They aren't afraid of shutting up and dribbling, or shutting up and pitching, or shutting up and playing the field, or shutting up and hitting. <laughs> 